Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this, unlike popular opinion, who might have thought that the series was cancelled because they took a little certain troll April Fool's Day video too certainly, is Gar's Wee Beasties. And you can kind of see what I've been working on. I've still got the tail to do, but yeah, there it is, the almost finished Garzilla. We've got the tail to do, we've got the orange spots to add, we've got the lighting situation to fix up. Uh, we are probably going to use raft lamps like everybody is suggesting. Uh, Molly and Bob are just still in a hole. But yeah, we're probably going to use raft lamps, raft lamps like everybody's suggesting. Not on the outside, but we'll think of something cool for the outside. But yeah, we're going to do something cool over there today. At least that's the idea anyway. Um, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So I, I've been cooking up some stone because I want to make some stone brick. I think I've got some over here. Uh, we got some, 16 blocks, not that many, but you know, it's more than uh, I had before, I guess. I don't know <laughs> why I tried to modify that. Molly, stop messaging me when I'm recording. Oh, I love you. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go do something cool today. And what that cool thing is, is we're going to work on the project we've been discussing, which is a mixture of things. The blaze spawner, we're going to at least try and set up the auto exp auto enchanting thing and then we're definitely going to try and set up the generators that will then run into big bat boxes and mfes and stuff which i think we'll probably run electrical engines off of for the second part of that project but today what we're going to do is we're going to set up two things the spawner and the processing of the blaze rods and if we can at least leave it in a position where we can use the uh, xp enchanting part of it so we're going to use that out of stone bricks because we don't want to do the inside, but we're going to go and we're going to get our soul cage and where is it? Tier 5 blaze. There we go. Tier 5 blaze. And you can mine these, which somebody usually told me in the thing. Oh, we've got one more thing to do. Right, okay, well, before I go do this, I'm going to go show you guys something really cool. So I will be with you whenever I get there. So many of you have been asking, Gar, Gar, what did you decide to call the pub? And... Those who follow me on Twitter will have seen this already, but we decided to call the pub Molly's Jugs. Oh, yeah. Molly's Jugs. Just wanted to just wanted to rub that one in there. Uh, rub it in, that's not the right word. Just wanted to emphasize that we're calling it Molly's Jugs because she's holding two lovely jugs of beer there and there. Yep. Just those jugs of beer beer so anyway yeah that's what it's called and i will go back through i think the person who actually suggested it um uh called the molly's mugs but i think you know for obvious reasons jugs is a little funnier and i made a pretty cool poster of it already and i will go back and i will give that guy something cool probably another uh descriptive descriptive some probably an item for the uh in, in the let's play again like we're doing with both emilius and chandler and stuff so yeah probably that um what's that down there Oh, it's the guillotine, of course. Let's go home and let's get to work on the project. So I will be back with you when we're at the Garzilla. Hello, guys. We're about to take our aerial fifth plate, which I've adjusted a little bit to land us straight in the mouth with a little bit of angling. And just to show you, you've got another one right here. A bit laggy, that. Don't really know why, but yeah. Kind of do it twice every single time. But yeah, I don't have to use the jetpack. I know people who don't have jetpack will probably get a bit of a rough landing, but... Whatever, I'm not here for them. So we've removed the uh, majority of this stuff, uh, and we're going to work out a place inside here to place the blaze spawner. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to place it on the bottom and then have stuff go up. Let's place a torch here, because that's dark as shit. Dark shit, obviously, not regular light-colored shit. Um, but yeah, we place it on the bottom, then have all the stuff come down here and have all the generators down here that'd be cool um i might think about actually turning this basically into a building with the stone bricks inside so that you don't see this ugly yellowness inside and that that is just the shell i think i might do that you know i think i might do that so i will come back to you whenever we've got all this built because it's pretty boring just to watch me place these stone bricks we probably don't have enough of them yet back in a bit guys Okay guys, so from the bricks that I have, we currently obviously don't have anywhere near enough. I'm probably not going to do the entire thing just in stone bricks because that would be ugly and boring and disgusting looking. 
Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to move that little bit of black. That's okay. I can move that back a bit without too much issues. Off camera, of course. And then we'll have a nice sort of columnar building inside here, and some space outside it. Should we wish to, you know, modify little things? But what we're gonna do now, actually, is I think I've got it with me. I do. Uh, see if there's any space. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that worked out. Uh, I was gonna see if there's any space. No, but what we'll do is we'll take some of this stuff. You know what? We'll put all that back. Actually, is it? Control shift. Oh well, that's not working. We'll just take the seeds because the seeds are the pain in our backside. Oh, it turns out there was something in there. Bones and arrows. Uh, okay, that's all the seeds, so we can take them back. Right. What we're gonna go do now, actually, guys, is we're going to move the skeleton spawner out because we don't need it at the moment. We don't need it running, and it's causing a little bit of annoyance. So let's see if we just dig in here. And if I quickly nip in, yeah, okay, awesome socks. Now that should come out with me, and we can go put it under the water. This episode might be in two parts. We go, oh god, we've got a lot of things to do in it. Uh, and well, it could be in three parts. We could be working on this project for ages. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Whew. Um, <laughs> we're going to be working on this project for a while. But what I mean by, don't tell me I've. Oh god, damn it. Damn solar helmet. Now this thing is here. Okay, now here's a handy trick. If you press F7, you'll see the um, bit places where mobs can spawn because it's light enough. I think that's the same for a mob spawner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this up here near these torches and hopefully not get any mobs. Now we're going to light this area up to stop these mobs spawning in these places. And we're going to take a look at it, and we've still got zero durability. Okay, right. And I don't even have anything to stack out with. We might be in a bit of a pickle here. <laughs> um, I could just break my way out. I could just break my way out. Looks like I might have to just break my way out. There's no solar power getting to this thing at all. Yeah, let's just break our way out. Luckily, this is all only usually, I think, one thick, so it's not too much of an issue. Okay, but it might be an issue in the sense that we've got those mofos there. Okay, let them shoot each other. Oh, thank thank heavens. I've lost a yellow wool, but we're okay. Okay, they seem to have died. Let's press F7 again to get that off our screen because that's annoying. Oh, and we got a little bit of power back. Awesome. Just a little bit. Okay, right, I'll be back when I've got all this stuff moved and shit like that there. We are having to quickly up uh, make a iron to gold i'm used to playing 1.5 now actually where that just feeds automatically we're gonna have to make an iron to gold upgrade because we got so much goddamn seeds seeds yo that we just have to simple as that so we're gonna have to process these in some way maybe we can come up with some farms to make use of that or just see what other uses we can have if we press u on it we can see some uses um we can make rat burgers <laughs> lovely we can make an alkahest, the universal solvent. This will destroy anything crafted with it, but to what end? Wow, that's ominous. What's this? A plant ball? It's got a nice texture, doesn't it? Um, we can use them in carpenters to make crated seeds, which I presume is like a form of, you know, just keeping it up. So lots of forestry, lots of forestry recipes. Okay, that's cool. Now, uh, we, let's go get ourselves another wool, and let's see how our smelting is coming along and we will go back and work on our project so let's see if we've got any more stone coming here I actually added a little hopper so we can always get the stone which is good that's good 64 stones pretty perfect for making another 64 of those stone bricks let's throw in two more of that cobble because why the hell not um, won't give us an even amount of that stone bricks but you know what who cares about that uh, so let me just think out loud need to make sure we've got okay that we need more of that <laughs> what am I doing we need to charge this bad boy up I forgot about that uh, hopefully it should fill up no apparently the internal capacity of a generator is just useless which is why we really need to work on this setup because we are so low on power look at what we've actually got feed the beastie wise a fur an iron furnace a dropper and a generator that's it that's all we got everything else is just sort of you know, kind of really basic, or even though it looks cool, and I'm pretty happy with the more or less finished version of the uh, Garzilla, um, it's still a little problematic. 
Needs a tail and needs some orange spots, by the way. So just remind me about that in the comments, guys. Okay, so let's see. We've got that should be enough. We're not gonna we're not going crazy here. We just want to use the gravity gun to bury the skeleton to give us in the water to give us some time to sort of work on the on the project in here in peace without that goddamn noise and then hopefully move the stuff back. So yeah, we don't seem to have any skeletons here. Oh, 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 okay. Right. Speak of the devil, all right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Obviously, these guys craft, uh, not craft, these guys spawn at a lower tolerance to your regular sort of thing. So if we just dump down here to where Jaws 2 used to be kept and place this guy right there, they can't spawn in water. We're all kushty. Now, where are we going here? In here? I think that was just out there. So if I place those there, yeah, it looks reasonable. Oi. Right, what are we doing now? We're going to try and move some of this stuff back. <laughs> oh, good old. Oh, we got so much indigo. That's cool. I can't remember what indigo's, indigo dye is used for, but it's not your regular dye, so let's just take a look to remind ourselves. Or let's let any any eye crash. Hmm. We can make dyes with it. We can use it to get molten blue dye. Interesting. Maybe it is a regular dye and I'm just being a moron. Yeah. <laughs> Carfapia. Cartopia, obviously. Carfapia is different. And you have an open invitation. Okay, time to move this stuff across. If we can, we obviously can't. Let's keep these things here to give ourselves a bit more space. Let's take the bones, blah, blah, blah. None of this is needed. Uh, of course we can't get it in one go. <laughs> and if, oh, we can, you know what, let's leave this thing and we can take at least one more stack. Not that that makes a difference, I'm going to have to do two trips anyway. So I'll see you back once I've made the two trips. And fill you in on all of Bunsible's chat. Might have to upgrade this. So, you know what? Let's actually upgrade this. And let's turn some of these things into another space. So we get another slot open to us. Let's upgrade it. So in case you guys didn't know, the uh, where's it? iron to gold is just that. And then gold to diamond. Where's gold to diamond? Probably there, is it? Gold to diamond is just this. So... Not too bad. We don't need eight diamonds, for example, which is not so bad. So we get uh, nine. Let me get nine. I think that's what I want, isn't it? And what's what do they need for this one? Oh, where is it? Where is it? What's that? Ch crystal. I don't want crystal. Crystal are really laggy. Oh, obsidian. That sounds even greater. But we only need um uh what's it called? Diamond right now. So we need six glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two diamonds and an iron and an iron, of course. So, you know, at the start of the video, I said we're going to do a project, and we haven't even bloody well started the project yet. But what's new there, eh, guys? <laughs> and I've left my minium stone over there, so I had to craft another minium stone. I've lo I lost my other one again. Uh, why does it not surprise you guys, eh? Why does it not surprise you guys? So let's get that, and then let's also craft ourselves the because you know what. We like diamond chests. We like them. We like them. And we're going to need a lot of seeds. We're going to have a lot of dyes, rather, so. Bang. Wow. So much space. So much space. Wish you could, ha wish you could somehow upgrade your inventory. I, I see you. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. But I am not paying attention to him. Because I... Oh, did he go on that, too? <laughs> I think he might have done, actually, you know. Let's get our apples so we can regenerate some of this health. Or at least try to, if we get four hunger bones out of this. Four ham bones, whatever. Okay, let's get all this stuff in there. And let's get rid of this chest, too. Do we have any soil on us? So we can cover up this thing. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay, I'm going to clear up all this and then... Uh, and I'll be right back with you guys. See ya. Probably going to adjust this because, you know, the mouth isn't... A sort of reliable entry point so we'll probably have something down there but more central too 
Probably still gonna use the aerial faith blades. Don't worry, do whoever. Okay, hold on, let me get inside. Don't worry, do whoever said, you know, to do a sort of serpentine linking all the things. Um, and got worried of that whenever I did this idea that I won't be doing the other one. I still really like that idea actually, and I probably will seek to implement it at some stage. Maybe not in the exact way that uh, the guy suggested, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll probably do something cool with it. Uh, did I put the uh, autumnal flyers in there by accident? No, I think we we got them. we got them, we got them. So look how much arrows we got, guys, from that skeleton farm. Really nice amount. Really nice amount. Sixteen stacks. Okie dokie. Um, I can't remember what. I think it's from Buildcraft or Thermal Expansion or something. But we're gonna put it in there anyway. Let's get this on our hub bar and we'll put these chests back, and then we can finally get to building that project of ours.